Now the design of your product page is arguably one of the most important parts of your whole Shopify store. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through A to C on how to actually create a good looking product page and how to actually customize your product page. Now one thing which a lot of people get wrong is that they are just going to use the plain default Shopify product page template which you can see on screen right here. Basically I wouldn't recommend you to do this because a lot of people already know that this is made of Shopify and therefore this is going to feel way less premium and this is just going to be a mess overall. So I would actually recommend you to use a third party page builder to create a product page that is actually going to convert and that is actually going to look customized to your brand. Now my product page builder of choice and the partner of today's video is going to be instant. I will leave you a link for them down below. You can actually get started for completely free. So as you can see, all you will have to do is click on start for free and we can then just create a new project right here. And then we can set the title as well as the industry. So in my case, I'm just going to basically select fashion. Now we will have to select what we want to build. So in this case, we are going to use select product templates as we do want to build customizable and converting product templates. So as for the next step right here, we will actually have to connect our Shopify store. This can be done within a few clicks using the instant app right here. So this now successfully got connected and we can now actually open this up and we can now actually select any of these templates right here. Now I do really like these templates right here because Instant basically already does most of the heavy lifting for you. They do have an extensive background in e-commerce and therefore they really know what's converting and what not. So in my case, I'm just going to select this wireframe kit template right here. And now we are going to have this available. Now one thing which basically differentiates Instant to all of the other page builders out there is that the overall interface is super intuitive, super beginner friendly. And also if you guys do have set up your product page on Figma, you can actually seamlessly convert your Figma page onto Shopify using Instant. Now the dashboard is basically going to work the following. On the left, you are going to see all of the different layers available in your project. Once you've selected a layer, you are then going to see all of the settings on the right and you can basically change everything that you want to. Additionally, you can change the breakpoint view by using these, uh, these icons right here on the top. And by default, all of the templates are actually already optimized for mobile view, which is really important as nowadays most people are going to shop off the mobile. So in this case, on the left, we are then actually also going to see all of the pages inside the whole dashboard and inside the whole Shopify store essentially. And then we are going to see the brand styles tab. So right here, we can basically set the default parameters for all across our sites. So we can set default colors, default text styles, and, and this really is a great way of creating a branded Shopify store. Additionally, if you guys do want to add new things, you can use this insert function right here. And as you can see, Instant is then going to have a variety of different templates for all sorts of different things. They do have templates for all sorts of different use cases and you can easily add them and you can then easily customize them for your own store. And you can then actually also see all of the assets which you have uploaded right here. Now, additionally, if you do want to change the page, you can do so right here. So let's, for example, first of all, get started by adding and actually assigning our Shopify product. To do so, I just select, I selected the product section right here on the left, as you can see, and I'm now just going to click Shopify content. And as you can see, now we can then actually select our Shopify product. In my case, as I only have this t-shirt available, I'm just going to select it. However, additionally, we can just use any of the placeholders if we do want to move forward with this. So let's, for example, just go for this everyday hoodie just to give you guys a full on view on how this is going to work. So right here, if you are going to zoom in, we can then actually select the different kind of basically layers of this. So right here, we would have the content parent layer and inside this layer, we are then going to have the reviews, price, we are going to have the rows right here, which are going to have the variant pickers and so on. Now, one thing which I also like about Instant is that they seamlessly integrate with quite a lot of different Shopify apps. So actually adding things like reviews and so on is super easy. They do, for example, offer judge.me integrations as well as looks. 
If you are a frequent viewer, you know that Lux is my personal favorite product review app. So this really makes me happy that they've added that. Now, additionally, if you, for example, would want to change uh, things right here, like for example, the size and so on, you could do so. You could change the spacing, the layout. So for example, you can change this to horizontal or you can actually also change the overall style and so on. Now, when it comes to customizing the other elements, this is also super straightforward. So in this case, we can just select this button right here and we can then see all of the settings and the interactions right here. So the action for this button obviously would be to actually add the product to the card. We can then select the trigger, redirect and so on. Now, actually, let's for example say that right here, we do want to add a picture onto this section. To do so, I'm just going to select this container right here. And we can then right here add the image onto this. So in this case, we would have to upload it. And as you can see, now the image got updated. Let's for example say that we now do want to add a new button onto this. To do so, just use the plus icon right here. And we can then either insert different kind of sections or elements. In this case, I'm just going to insert an element, to be exact, a button element. And then as you can see right here, by default, we are going to have multiple different options available, which we can use. I'm just going to use the primary button. And I'm now going to drag this on the bottom of this thing right here. And we can then actually customize this button by using the settings right here on the right. So we can change the style and so on. And we can then actually also add the action. So in this case, we could, for example, right away connect this to a product. So let's, for example, use our Peso Claw Frame T right here. And we can then actually also integrate our Shopify product right onto Instant. Now, basically, I really like Instant because Instant is going to, first of all, give you tons of different options as for social proof. Their templates do look great right out of the box. And by using Instant, you can easily create good looking and converting online stores for your product. And they do have tons of different templates for all sorts of different use cases. So if you guys do want to check out Instant, I will leave you a link for them down below. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.